Now let's start this demo by creating a new stair by using the predefined typology. First of all click on the Create Stair tool and the dialog window for the type selection appears. On the left we have the predefined types for stair elements. On the right the predefined types for ramp elements. Let me choose this type. The stair settings dialog window appears. On the left a vertical buttons panel provides access to the various sections of the dialog to configure the stair components. From tab to bottom, the buttons provide access to the following section. General configuration, stair geometry, number of step, total rise, configuration of the structure, thicknesses, connection, type of structure, configuration of the step, shape, thicknesses, offset, configuration of the balustrade, configuration of the skirting boards and stringers, optional elements, configuration of the 3D model, materials, hotspot, element visibility, pens, fields, optional human figure, configuration of the 2D symbol, symbol type, pens, line type, fields, 2D display of walls, balustrades and stringer, working line, text information in the symbol, and configuration of the list properties, multi-story option and stereo carpet. On the general configuration section we can define the stair geometry. One of the improvements of Archistair 2.0 is the stair preview that displays in real time the changes you operate in the displayed fields. As soon as you change a value, the preview is automatically updated by following your changes and providing you with an instant feedback of your modification. On the following section we have the stair structure configuration. We can decide how our stair joins the slab, if we want an optional top tweed or not, the thicknesses of the landing and of the bottom and top slabs. Furthermore, a dedicated section let us define the stair structure type. This is another new issue of Archistair 2.0 that provides you with more freedom on the stair design. When we click on one of the heavy label buttons to choose that structure type, immediately we get on the left the detailed fields to customize the selected structure type. We have eight different structure types which let you define. A simple structure, basically a stair with a solid flight, the only one used by the previous version of Archistair. Structure with side stringers, in this case the stair is supported by simple stringers at the side. Stairs with daglet stringers, in this case the side stringers follow the shape of the steps creating a daglet partner. Stair with rectangular center beam, in this case the stair is supported by a rectangular center beam. Stair with daglet center beam. Stair with laterals high beam. In this case the stair is supported by high beams at the side, fully customizable of course. Stair with center high beam, in this case the stair is supported by a center high beam. Stairs with lateral rectangular beams, in this case the stair is supported by simple rectangular beams at the side. On the third section we have the configuration of the steps. We can use steps with normal shape or with a racket riser. We can curve all the steps or just the first one. And we can define all the thicknesses and the offset values both for the thread and the riser. On the left are the two new functions introduced by Archistair 2.0. We can use optional frame step that let you define the thickness of the frame and its material as well as the fill material. Using archical materials with properly defined texture, you can get interesting results. On the bottom, we can enable the optional riser styles. Basically, when this option is activated, the display changes from a complete riser to a strip positioned below, centrally or above the step. On the following section, we have the configuration of the balustrades. Also in this case, Archistair 2.0 introduces a more friendly user interface. On the left, a set of buttons let you handle the balustrade. A big preview gives you an instant feedback on what you are doing. 
The first button lets you select the side along which you want to insert the balustrade. When you selected the side, you can click on the Insert Balustrade button. You can also use the Quick Selection buttons to faster select the side of your stairs. The last set of buttons let you handle the zoom of your preview. The second button switch to the Edit mode. Now we can select the part of the balustrade we want to modify. Once you made the desired selection, click on the Selection Settings button to browse the settings of these elements. Here we can define the handrail shape and sizes. Archistair introduced a new handrail issue. We can use custom profiles. Here we can choose between about 20 new custom predefined profiles, but, as we will see later, you will be able to create, without using GDL, your own custom profile. As you can see, in this case, the custom profile includes more than one component, and in this case, we can use the below pop-up menus to define the material used for each part of the profile. By using the high icon on the right, you will highlight which part of the handrail you are going to modify. Then, you can configure the hands of the handrails, like in the previous version. Number, shape, sizes and material of the roads. Number, shape, size and material of navel and post. In this case, you can also browse your loaded library by selecting your own custom navels and post which you can create by using a dedicated orchestral procedure we will see later, once again without using GDL. On the last section, you can show an optionally fully customizable panel. Once you finish your customization, come back to the previous dialog window by clicking on the OK button. On the next section, we have the configuration for skirting boards and stringers. Also in this case, we have a more user-friendly interface. We have a big preview that lets you select on which side you want to insert the elements and two tab panels which switch you from the skirting board definition to the stringer definition and vice versa. On the following section we can set the 3D model. Materials, hotspot, element visibility, pens, fields, optional human figure. Let me describe just a new feature introduced by Archistair 2.0. We can display optional 2D and 3D hotspot in order to snap to these points. By the way, from Archicad 10 to the newer version, you will be able to snap in the plan window also to the side of your stair. This will be a very big drawing help. As new addition, you can fully customize the 3D pen for the stay elements as well as the cut fields used in the Archicad section. In the next section, we can handle the 2D symbol of our stair. Symbol type, pens, line type, fields, 2D display of walls, balustrades and stringers, walking line, text information in the symbol. The way used by Archistair to display the 2D symbol of our stairs has been improved and the user interface now gives you a fully control of all these parameters. The last section lets you define the list properties of your stair. As any Archicad user knows, you can use some predefined list types, automatically installed together with the Archistair, to display all the data of your stairs, including, as option, also a 2D and 3D representation of the listed stair. On the right, a new powerful feature of Archistair 2.0, you can define multi-story stairs. When designing multi-story buildings, the staircase often passes through the entire height of the building and the stairs are identical on all stories. In previous version, the user had to copy past the same stair on all stories and in the event of variation during the course of work, each individual element had to be modified. If the individual flights are identical through the entire building, this function enables this operation to be simplified by using just one single stair object which must be inserted at the lowest level and it will be repeated on all the stories set by the user. The last option is just an aesthetic issue coming from a lot of user requests. 
you can display a fully customizable stair carpet along your stair. Finally, let's confirm all these settings by clicking on the OK button. The first click defines the insertion point of our stair. And that's all.